Ah, oh, hoy there matey, come sail with me Peter the pirate on the high seas There's poems and wonders, there's so much to find Adventures and learning of every kind Peter the pirate, bold and free Exploring the future of history With treasures of knowledge, the journey's begun With Peter the pirate, it's learning and fun Oh, I'm more lost than a jellyfish in the desert Oh, right, I'll use this thingamabob That Annie and Gearlock told me about Hello, come in, Annie and Gearlock. I'm lost in the woods. Hello, can you hear me? I'm lost, I can't find me way. Even my compass. Ah, oh, this frustrating technology. Oh, maybe I can find the North Star, but I don't know which way it is. Oh! Perhaps this landlubber can help out. Let's go say hello. Arr! Hi, I be Petey the Pirate. How are you? Hi. Hey, I'm good. what is this big cannon thing? You be shooting cannonballs up into the sky. No, actually, I'm, I'm doing astrophotography. Astro for what? Astrophotography. What is this? That's where we take images of the night sky. Oh, up there in that sea of stars. But right now, I'm taking photographs of this whirlpool galaxy. Oh, wow. How did you take a photo of all the things up there? I can't even see them with my own eyes. Because it's so dim, we take multiple photographs, one after the other, and then we put them together to create a nice, bright image like this. Oh, and how does that work with this thing? So the light from the stars travel billions and billions of light years, comes to, down to our Earth, and this lens sees it, passes through the lens, and hits the sensor on the camera. And that oh. sensor translates that into an image. Like this. Like this one. And that is up there in the night sky. That's right. Oh, and what is happening on here? So this is two galaxies merging together. This big one is eating the small one right here. It's eating the galaxies. That's right. Oh, I never knew galaxies could eat each other. They do it all the time. What else do you capture on this thing? So we can capture anything that's in the night sky. So there's nebulas, there's stars. Sometimes we can find exoplanets. Oh, do you have a favorite star you like to have a look at? My favorite star? I like to look at Vega. Vega? What's Vega? Vega is a very bright star that's up in the sky and you can easily see it as part of the summer triangle. Could you be seeing the North Star? You can. Ah, oh, where is it? I can't find it, which is why I couldn't get home. Just over there. Oh, there it be. Have you ever taken a picture of that one? I can, but right now we're looking at the Whirlpool Galaxy. What got you into doing this hobby, sitting out here in the dark and the cold? Well, when I was younger, I the first time I saw the planet Saturn with my bare eye from a telescope, I was in grade nine. Oh. And I thought that was cool. And that was from my my IT teacher back in, in back in the day. And then I saw it again when I was in grade 12, the same teacher wow. who brought us to the same place, and I saw Saturn again. Fast forward 10 years later, I meet him in a dark sky area, and he says, hey, check this out again. We're looking at Saturn, and it blew my mind. So it was your teacher that inspired your curiosity. That's right. Arr. Arr, could I put one of these on my ship so I could see the stars even better? No, you couldn't actually, because this needs to be stationary, and on a ship it's moving around a lot. And the reason why we need it to be stationary is because this equatorial mount rotates, counter rotates with the Earth so it can follow the night sky accurately. So it has been rotating the same way our Earth rotates? That's right, it's actively oh, rotating wow. right now, just very slowly. Oh, that'd be a fascinating thing. And why do you need that for? So that we don't get streaky photos, otherwise, it would, we, every star here would be very streaked. Oh, you'd be like, looks like you're going at a warp speed. That's right. Arr. We don't want warp speed, at least not for, the, for astrophotography. Is this, are we seeing the past, the present, or the future? Well, telescopes are actually a, a view, a window to the past. So oh. what we're seeing right now is, could be things from a billion years ago, a million years ago. I'm from the past, and I got propelled here forward. So what are we seeing here? Is it like a time travel with our telescope? It, yeah, it sort of is. We're looking into the past right now. Would you be able to see my mommy and pappy back through this telescope if we're looking back in time? Uh, no, unfortunately not. Arr. And what be all these fancy widgets and gadgets on top of the telescope here? Well, why don't I show you? 
what all these things do. We'll start from the bottom. All right, this yes. is the tripod. This so three-legged thing, yeah. Everything sits on it, all the weights on it, and it's important that this is level. And so there's a bubble level on, on the side here, and so I have to make sure that thing's perfectly flat. When the bubble be in the middle, it mean it perfectly flat. That's right. Our bubbles be helpful. And so up here, this is the head. This is called the equatorial mount itself. So this is what actually rotates, counter rotates to, to Earth's rotation and follows the night sky accurately. Ah, oh, his head be spinning, but very, very slowly. That's Hope we right. don't get too dizzy. That's right. And so when we move on to the main telescope. This is the main scope right here. Oh. Then we have the, main, the camera, uh, some light filters in this disc. Oh! This is what controls the focus of the telescope. And this thing over here is the main brain. This is what controls everything that happens. The on brain's here. outside the head. That'd be a fancy computer gadget. That's right. And this little guy, I can control it with my iPad. Oh, on the pad, you can control the brain of the whole system. That's right. So you be the captain of this here I am. sea vessel. I am. Absolutely. Arr, arr, Absolutely. Yes. And so moving, moving on, this band up here is actually going to this control here. So this is called a dew heater controller. A dew heater controller. Now what's dew? Dew is the moisture from the air just settling down. And like what you see on the grass in the morning. So that happens during throughout the night. So this is the heater part. It warms up the lens to make sure that moisture doesn't condensate on the lens. If water get on the lens, then you wouldn't be able to get our nice pictures. Precisely. Arr, it's like when the salty sea gets into my eyes and I can't see very good. <laughs> exactly. Arr. And this over here is the counterweight. So this counterweights the weight of the telescope so that everything is balanced. It's important to make sure that this, the legs are level and the equatorial mount is balanced so that it's smooth operation as it rotates. Ah, so it's like every piece does something to help I get the photo, like a sea captain manning his crew and all his crew members. That's right. Ah, well I best be going or Annie and Gearlock be worried about me. Thank you very much for teaching me all about the astrophotography and the night sky and the cameras inside this telescope. You're You'd be a great man. Ah, and I need to be getting back home. So which way is the North Star? North Star is right over there. Then underneath that is where I need to be going. So I best be off that way. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, Petey. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too.